NTS-50 connections and controls. The NTS-50 torquing device removes and installs piston nuts and also removes and installs threaded cylinder end caps, sometimes called cylinder bonnets. There are a number of tools to suit practically every piston nut and cylinder end cap. They all attach to the tool mounts located on either side of the NTS-50. There are two pair of connections to the NTS-50. The lower connections are for the high-speed nut runner, which rapidly turns piston nuts and end caps. These fittings connect to the two middle fittings on the mobile hydraulic cart. The nut runner is controlled by the nut runner joystick at the front of the mobile hydraulic cart. The nut runner can turn in either direction, but before turning opposite the direction shown by the arrows above the tool holders, make sure both of the NTS-50 cylinders are disengaged. The connections at the top of the NTS-50 are for the high-torque NTS-50 cylinders, which do the initial loosening and final tightening of piston nuts and cylinder end caps. These fittings connect to the left two fittings on the mobile hydraulic cart, as seen from the back of the cart. The NTS-50 cylinders are controlled by the high-torque extend-retract joystick at the front of the mobile hydraulic cart. When using the NTS-50 cylinders, Make sure the cylinder test NTS-50 valve is in the down or NTS-50 position. The NTS-50 cylinders always torque when extending, moving in the direction shown by the arrows above the tool mounts. When the cylinders are almost fully extended, retract them to line up with the next tooth on the NTS-50. The two cylinder engagement handles are located between the side walls of the NTS-50. Choose the engaged position to bring the cylinders into use for initial loosening and final tightening. The disengaged position moves the cylinders out of the way. Choose this position whenever using the nut runner. The locking clamps at either side of the NTS-50 allow it to turn between the loosening and tightening positions. To change positions, loosen the bolts holding the locking clamps and turn the NTS-50. When it is square with the carriage, retighten the locking clamp bolts. Tooling. A variety of optional tools are available to use with the NTS-50, suiting most cylinders and piston nuts. Use the hex plates, part number 64-000 for most piston nuts. These are available as a complete set or individually in sizes from 3 inches or 76 millimeters up to 6 and 1 8 inches or 155 millimeters. The adjustable hex tool, part number 64-004, covers a full range of piston nuts from 3 inches or 76 millimeters up to 9 inches or 228 millimeters. Square drive adapters connect the NTS-50 to existing square drive sockets. These are available for 3 quarter inch square drive, part number 64-005, 1 inch square drive, part number 64-003, 1 and 1 half inch square drive, part number 64-002, and 2 and a half inch square drive, part number 64-006.